If you're neurodivergent with a parent or teacher of a neurodivergent person, then you're going to want to take a look at Goblin Tools. Goblin Tools is a very small suite of AI powered tools that's designed for neurodivergent people to plan and organize and work on, on simple tasks and to make their life a little bit easier. Let's take a look, I'll show you. So there are six tools within Goblin Tools. Magic to do is probably the main one you're going to want to use, but the others are pretty useful as well. So let's start with Magic to do. What Magic to do will let you do is break down a task into more manageable chunks so if you have a problem in getting overwhelmed with things and the task just seems too big then you can put the task into here and it'll break it down into the steps for you so let's just take a, an example so let's say we're loading a car ready for a holiday I'm gonna add that to my list and then I'm going to break that down and it will break down the items that I need to be able to do and if I want to break those steps down even more I can break those steps down into more steps. The chilies here are the spiciness of how much you want to break a task down or not. Let's look at a school example so maybe we're going to sort of write a report about the fall of the Roman Empire let's add that to our to-do list and then let's break that task down okay and we can get an estimate and it'll tell you how long that's going to be and how long each of these tasks is going to be the next tool is the formalizer tool so you can take something that's written in a formal way and to make that more professional you can make text sort of you know, more formal more informal more sociable less emotional more passionate and so on you can change it around if you want to so let's say we've got an email which is a little bit informal and we can convert that into a more professional email and it will take our chatty email into a much more formal email message there which you can then copy and send out. Judge lets you judge the tone of a message, maybe an email or a text message you receive. So let's paste the text into there and I'm going to judge that to see whether it comes across as too formal, too snotty, too flippant or whatever. So the text can be also professional, polite and focused. So yes, that's, that's quite nice. We'll go with that one. You could use it on your own messages before you send them or you can use it on messages that you receive. Estimator lets you um, judge how long a task is going to take. Obviously, you can use that as part of magic to do as well. But if you want to just get a rough idea for one task, I can place, I can put a task in here. Ten slide PowerPoint presentation about Paris, and let's estimate, and it'll tell you how how long it's going to take. So roughly one to two hours to do that. That's quite good. That helps me plan what I'm going to do. Then we've got compiler, which basically you can put a brain dump of stuff you want to do. So you can write it just as sentences, the tasks you need to be able to do. And so I've got my, my tasks kind of here. I'm going to turn that into a task list. And it's done that, which is cool. Um, I can then send that result to Magic To Do if I want to. So let's send that to Magic To Do. Let's go and see. In my Magic To Do, I've now got the, the things I need to do. And if I wanted to, I could break that down some more. Let's select this list of equipment, what I need to do to do that, and what we need, check how available it is. Um, if I want to plan presentation, I can do that. So it helps me to manage my time and to break down the tasks into smaller, more manageable chunks, which is really cool. And the final tool, which is probably less useful than the others for um, education, but you may work with teenagers and young adults that need a bit of help in, in planning their, their time and planning what they're going to eat. They've got no idea what they can cook, but they know there's some stuff in the fridge. Then you can type in here what ingredients you've got, whether you're vegetarian or allergic to certain foods or whatever. So I'm going to type in here, so I've got some eggs, I've got some potatoes, I've got some ham, I've got some cheese and spaghetti, and that's it. And then can you suggest me something to cook? It took about 30 seconds to do that, I've just cut that bit out. But here's my dish, cheesy potato and ham frittata with spaghetti. And there's my recipe, what to do. And I can again, I can send that to the magic to do if I want to. And in my magic to do, there's my, my recipe and steps I need to do to cook that meal, which is kind of cool. So Goblin Tools is free if you go through the web. You can use it on Android and iOS phones and tablets, but the app is a small fee, but the website itself is completely free. As far as I can see from the about page, they want to keep it free and use the, the apps to kind of fund it slightly. So if you are neurodivergent yourself or you work with neurodivergent children or young adults, then this is a fantastic little tool to have handy to help them manage their time and to help them to judge the messages and the tone the messages they're sending out to estimate the length of time tasks take and so on completely free just go to the address goblin.tools and you'll go straight there and it's so it's a totally free website go play see what you think as always like and subscribe to be notified of new videos i'll be back soon thanks so much for your time thanks for watching cheers goodbye